die schöne Mechanik von Wii. Yes? Well, this is an industrial postdoc pro project in collaboration between the Aarhus University and the Kamsky Ministries. And it's a kind of an extension to the talk we have had today about uh, safety in uh, uh, agricultural machinery, semi autonomous robots, and maybe autonomous robots. So just a short outline of this presentation. Uh, I'll first start off with the motivation for looking at, at this multi-sensor system, the ethical part and also the efficiency part of the project. Uh, then I'll discuss the sensor system that we are looking at right now in the start of the project and uh, present a case-driven field experiment where we'll look at detection of bird nests during mechanical weeding and some preliminary preliminary results uh, doing this. First, some motivation. Uh, if you were at the, the safety discussion uh, previously, you heard about these uh, wildlife killings uh, during mowing operations. We have seen, we're seeing increased working widths and speeds of uh, conventional agricultural machinery, and we see an increased uh, um, rate of uh, killing uh, roe deer fawns, uh, hares, uh, pheasants, but also endangered uh, animals in, during these mode operations. So this, uh, this is an ethical part that really drives our, uh, our technology that we should be able to detect these cases and avoid them using also conventional agricultural machinery. Other obstacles, if you can think of the wildlife as an obstacle, uh, could uh, uh, reduce the quality of the work that you perform in the field, uh, but it could also uh, damage or destroy the equipment you use. Here we see a problem that's uh, becoming more and more frequent uh, when the weather is changing. We see these erosion channels, and this, this, these channels could put a lot of strain on, on this equipment if we are unlucky in, in how these wheels enters this erosion channel. So if we could detect these erosion channels, then that maybe could prevent some uh, damage on the equipment. Another very visual example is uh, during the rolling operations where we have this lump here uh, tree uh, and it uh, has completely wrecked this uh, part of the, the grass bunch robot. So this robot did not, was not able to detect that this was present and as it was destroyed. Something that also uh, motivates our uh, work towards uh, sensor systems for, for uh, and cultural machinery is that we are driving towards going from conventional tractor based uh, equipment to more semi-autonomous or maybe autonomous robots as we see with the, with the robot here in this picture and in this, coming from this to this we need sensor equipment to make these safer not safe, but safer and as you may, may be seen in this illustration what we are looking at right now is uh, conventional camera technology and thermal camera technology. Um, the thermal camera has uh, several advantages when we look at a different uh, variety of uh, obstacles, being humans or animals or other objects, with, which uh, um, other living objects, because we can detect them very easily in a the thermal camera. It's easy to spot that there's something here that we should should uh, should uh, avoid because it's uh, it could be uh, something living, um, and also the price of thermal cameras are really re being reduced these years because they are being more and more uh, mass produced. You can get a thermal camera for your mobile phone for two hundred three hundred dollars right now. So this this is a very inter interesting technology to put on uh, a machine regarding safety as well. But not all obstacles can be detected with a thermal camera. Um, maybe the wooden pole here is not that easily detected, but it could also be the erosion channels which could, might not be easily detected by a thermal camera. And furthermore, it's not always that uh, easy to recognize what you're looking 
at when you're looking at a thermal camera. It's easy to, to take a human silhouette, but if it's something else that's hot and you don't know the shape of it, then you need some other features to be able to recognize the kind of object that you are steering towards. And therefore we're also looking at the conventional camera to extract some features that we might be able to recognize what we are driving towards. So, the case, uh, we're looking at the detection of bird nests and mechanical weaving. And this slide is just to present why we are looking at mechanical weaving. Uh, we see uh, here some, uh, some numbers from a US survey that we see an increase in uh, resistant weeds. So, uh, we want to, of course, uh, limit the amount of pesticides because of uh, the environment, but we also see that some weeds are also resistant to the, the pesticides that we're using, so actually it, they're not really helping us to solve the problem of removing the weeds. And also, of course, or the organic uh, weeding, we need to do it as we can. And we want to look at this, uh, these uh, bird nests, because if you have these ground-lying birds, or the, these nests, they are very uh, much in danger of being destroyed when we are using this mechanical weeding. And it might not be a problem uh, now, but if we increase the amount of machines doing mechanical weeding, then this could be a problem in the future, that we are uh, endangering some species because of, of uh, because we are destroying a large number of nests. nests. So, not, not, I'm not the only one looking at taking these bird, bird nests. This is a video from MTT uh, Crop Tech in Finland, where they're looking at taking these bird nests using thermal cameras. You will see they are driving on this uh, Field and you will see a nest there, and person. It also comes out in the thermal image. Okay, this this video is not easy to analyze if you don't know what you're looking at. Let me show you. Really impossible to detect it 
detect this bird nest. And if you compare that to the other video where you had a very clear indication of the bird nest, then I can tell you that the ground here is around 25 to 26 degrees. And that's why it's really hard to, to use the thermal camera at this setup. If we change the angle of the camera so we look more towards the ground, then we are and driving over, then it's easier to spot that we have this warm, uh, uh, these warm eggs lying here on the ground. But that, of course, um, limits our time to react if we want to avoid destroying this nest. So it would be better for us to look at a more forward-looking direction. So using just the, um, the visual input, uh, we have come up with an algorithm which uh, tries to detect part of the field which, uh, which a, a human would pay most attention to in, when he immediately sees the, the image. So just for this experiment I have suppressed this uh, cooler box in the top corner because that's what you might want to look at first. But suppressing this and extracting the foreground pixel and looking at what uh, is most interesting to look at in the image for a human observer. We can uh, detect that there's something here on the ground that we should be aware of. And in this case, these, this, this that we should be aware of are the ground line uh, bird nests. Just to show you a video of, of this in the preliminary results. We're driving to watch, to watch the, we have two nests lying on the ground there. And here it detects nests. And this is suppressed, so we can go protect that one. And here it also detects the nests. So of course the next thing we have to look into is uh, what to do when you have detected a nest. And that's part of the efficiency. because. If you have uh, equipment that's able to, to, uh, to lift, then you shouldn't stop if you detect something that's lying on the ground, and you should just lift it. That's part of further research. <laughs>